Have you ever wanted to show dynamic SVGs on your loop grid? So we've got a loop grid of posts. We're in Elementor WordPress. I'm only showing the post title, but let's say every post has an SVG. So every single one is different. You might have custom loaded it or got it from your media library or whatever, and you want them to show. So you want it to be fed through as a custom field. Now at the moment with advanced custom fields, you can't do that on the fly. You have to maybe go and get extra plugins. But I'm going to show you how with a really simple code snippet and a little short code, you can feed that through. Here's the first thing you need to do. Obviously, make sure you got the advanced custom fields plugin and you can use the free one. What you want to do is add in a new field. I'm going to change it to be a file upload field because it might be that you're going to pick something that's already in your media library. And I'm going to call it SVG icon and it feeds through as the field name. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm then going to hit save changes. Now let's go over to one of my example posts. I've got some custom fields over here. Seriously, don't worry about the detail, but down here we have SVG icon. I'm now going to click add file and I'm going to go and pick that particular icon over there. Now, normally when you try to upload an SVG file, WordPress doesn't like that. So you've got to make sure you've gone and added them into your media library. You might've had another page somewhere and you just go and custom upload them, but make sure they're in your media library. Then I'm going to hit select. So that is now added over there. Now, there is a bit of a drawback to this. It doesn't exactly show you exactly what you want to see. It doesn't have a preview of the SVG file. Let's now hit update. Let's go over to post six as well, just so I can show you that this is working. We're going to go hit add file. I'm now going to add this other SVG, which is called computer solid. You hit select. It's got the name, but you don't get the preview. So you got to kind of accept that. Then go over to code snippet and go and add this in. There'll be a link to this in the video description. It's just a simple bit of code, really. The only thing you got to make sure is that you change this bit over here. So make sure you type in the ID of the field. And if you forget what that is, go back over to your custom field group and you will see SVG icon, the name over there. OK, so just remember, you want to use this one, not the one that you titled it with. And then copy Copy this bit over here because we're going to use it as a shortcode display ACF SVG. Let's just go and copy that. And of course, make sure you save changes and you have activated this. Now let's go back over to our loop grid. I'm going to hit edit template and into here, I'm going to drop in a shortcode. Let's just pop it above the title and I will now enter in display ACF SVG. And as soon as you do that, this will appear. I will then hit update and save and back. Now there is going to be a flaw with this. Okay. And I'm going to show you that in a moment. So if I hit save and back, you will now see both icons have come through. The problem is, though, the icons are not consistent in my media library. I had one that was a small size and one that was a bigger. I did this on purpose. So what you want to do is go back into your template, click back on your short code, go to the advanced tab. I'm going to give this a class name of SVG underscore icon. And then in my custom CSS, I'm going to add this in dot SVG icon because that's a class name. It is an image width 100 pixel and height 100 pixel. So when you now see that, that is looking so much more consistent. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. This logo is still bigger. Yeah, it's just because of the width. And this has like got more height to it than this one has in terms of width 100 height 100. But this now means that you could have SVGs per post that you are now dynamically feeding through into your loop grid. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon.